Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex and this is Les Talk where I talk about all things queer that have interested me in the past week. So, let's get into it. So let's dive into, like, the biggest thing that's happened this week, Camilla. Now, Camilla is usually coming out every second week, so I wasn't really expecting to talk about Camilla this week because the third act doesn't drop until next week. <sighs> this week was supposed to be a chill week for Camilla. I was supposed to be able to just reel in my feels from last week and I was supposed to be able to prepare myself for the finale to say goodbye to Camilla. <sighs> Uh, so what are they going to do? What did they go and do? Well, there was a New York Comic Con this weekend and they decided to drop the biggest, the best bombshell that they could have dropped. They announced a Camilla movie coming out next year. I am losing my shit. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So there is... I don't think there's a whole lot we know about it, except for the fact that, I mean, Camilla and Laura are in the trailer, so we can assume they survive season three. Yay! Woo so that's good. Um, so yeah, it, it's just like a teaser trailer, I believe. I think I read on, on Twitter that they filmed it on the 28th, so they essentially just filmed stuff for the trailer to, you know, to announce it. Um, so what we know, Camilla and Laura are in the movie, obviously. Um, they're so cute. They're so cute. We got Camilla, like, I mean, Camilla riding a motorbike, which is, whew, damn. She's stealing some cream puffs for Laura because she's so whipped. Um, yeah, and Laura is just like such a nerdy professor and it's great. It's great. She's mark. she's grading papers while on a beach having a little drink and it's oh, I'm so happy <laughs> yeah uh, so I'm so super excited for Camilla the movie if you guys have not seen if you guys are like been living under a rock this weekend I have a link to the trailer to the teaser trailer you guys can go check it out there is also a uh, teaser or a trailer for Act 3 of Camilla, which is really cool. They didn't have a trailer for any of the other acts. Um, and it shows off some new scenes and stuff like that. And I feel like, you know, I'm so, I'm so excited for Act 3. I'm so excited for Camilla. It's just, oh, it's just, it makes me so happy that it's become what it has become. <sighs> anyway, so I, I'll have a link to the trailer for Act 3 if you guys haven't seen that either. I will also have a link to um, the Camilla movie website where you can pre-order the movie. So if you love Camilla and you're excited for the movie, please go pre-order it. There is three options that you can pre-order. I think these are in Australian dollars or maybe American dollars. I can't, or well, maybe it's American dollars. One, you can buy for $9.99, which is just the movie. Um, uh, I feel like there's some other stuff. <sighs> there's details, go look them up anyway. The bundle two is for $14.99, I think. God, I hope I'm getting these right. Um, and the important thing that I saw from bundle two, which I feel like people should at least get bundle two because it comes with bloopers. Bloopers, come on. The bloopers are like the best bit of anything. I mean, not really, but like they're good. So yeah, the, it's got some awesome like other special features that come with it, but bloopers, bloopers, right? Um, and then the third bundle, I believe, is $20, $20.99. And it comes with, like, the bloopers and stuff like that, as well as a whole bunch of um, additional features and scenes and stuff like that for Camilla Season 3. So that drops, I think... <laughs> I really should have my laptop here so I can actually give you guys, like, detailed stuff. But it, it drops soon. So if you guys go bundle, uh, go... <laughs> pre-order bundle three, you get some extra stuff for Camilla season three, which is great. Um, I'm so keen. Go support this if you're keen for it because, you know, uh, these, these, these web series, Camilla web series, uh, this movie, these sort of things, you know, is it, 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 it's happening because of the audience support, right? They rely on our support. So yeah, go support this movie if you are keen for it because, you know, the more support we can give it, the the better production they can have, right? It's, uh, yeah, we just, <sighs> I'm so excited. 
and I want it to be awesome. And yeah, to do that, we need to show them our support. Am I, am I saying this okay? Is this coming out okay? <laughs> All right, so that's, 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 that's it on Camilla, I think. It's, it's, I, I was not expecting myself to get so hyped over Camilla this week. And it's just, it's, 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 we get the finale of season three, as well as looking forward to a movie. I'm freaking out. All right, so the next thing that I want to talk about is this movie that's coming up. I don't think it's, it's even in production yet. I think it's in pre-production, but it's called, um, Disobedience. And I believe it's based on a book. I haven't read the book, but. It's there if you want to go read it, I guess. Um, and it's going to be um, starring Rachel McAdams, love her, and Rachel Wise, is that how you say her last name? Which I love, like the mummy. Ah, oh, so good. Um, so these these two Rachels, they're going to be playing love interests in this movie and I am so excited. I'm so keen. I don't think it's going to come out for a while, but I heard the news this week and I was so excited for it because like they're hot and I'm so excited for it. Just, yeah. <laughs> so look forward to that in like a year or two, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, next thing I want to talk about is Sarah, who is, um, she played Callie in um, Grey's Anatomy. You guys know how much I love Callie. One of my favorite like queer characters on TV like of all time. Um, unfortunately, previously has was recently left Grey's Anatomy. She left on good terms though, which is great. She didn't die. Woo! Anyway, the actress, Sarah, who plays her, she came out, I think it was like today, so yesterday for you guys watching, she came out as bisexual herself and I'm just, it makes me so happy. Um, it's just, <sighs> like one of the most iconic bisexual characters, bisexual women in TV, was played by a bisexual woman. It's just, I don't know, it's just, it makes me happy. And she's got like this fucking sick haircut. Oh, it just, it puts a big smile on my face and she's doing awesome things. So if you guys want to go check out the video of her essentially coming out, I'll have that linked in the description and you guys can go check it out. Um, it's really, really cool. I'm so excited for her. <laughs> All right. And the last thing that I want to talk about, it's not something that's happened in the past week, but something that I'm excited for, Supergirl premieres, Supergirl season two premieres this upcoming week. And oh, I'm so excited. I'm just praying that the CW don't destroy it. And I'm also hoping that <laughs> Alex is gay. I want Alex and Maggie to be a thing in season two. I just want it. I want it so bad. I want Supergirl to be gay. Like, I want the show to have gayness in it, but I would also like Supergirl to be gay. But I don't think that's going to happen, which makes me really sad because I'm so on board, like, Supercat. It's like my OTP. Like, one of them, anyway. I've been reading a lot of fan fictions recently. I should probably link some of them. I haven't linked some fan fictions recently. I'll see if I can find them and I'll have some maybe fan fictions in the description if you guys want to check out what I've been reading. <sighs> but that's happening this week. I'm, I'm like running out of breath because of how like my excite, excite is a thing apparently. <sighs> okay. <sighs> yeah. So <laughs> that's Les Talk this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will see you guys in my next one. <laughs> okay. Bye.